Yo, what is up? Today I'm going to show you Need for Speed Underground 2 modded and performance on the Legion Go and possibly the Steam Deck. I have a few people testing it out right now to let me know if it does work on Steam Deck or if it's going to need a few more settings. Um, I can't give you the game. I'm not providing you that. This is just mods and showing you performance. Um, so like, let's say you already do have the game. You've extracted it. I'm just going to show you uh, what you can do. Um, so, like, let's get into our, uh, my files. I will attach uh, a couple of links. One link will be to a video that actually showed me where to get, like, widescreen uh, patch and what else did he have? Oh, and a, like, a cheat sheet. It was, like, for the game. So, you can unlock, like, everything, you know, like, to an extent. Well, not to an extent. You really could. You could unlock all the cars. You could unlock all the... All the parts, body kits, you know, like, ideally, you you weren't able to use the body kit until, like, end game. It was kind of, like, pointless. But anyways, you could unlock it now. You could, uh, put in money. Um, I'm trying to think at the top of my head. There's so much I want to talk to you about. But let me just get into it, show you. So, starting with the scripts. There's going to be two options you're going to have available. Now, um, if you do have my port, I'm just showing you settings on uh, what you can do if you don't like something, if you wanted to make adjustments that I've already previously made. Uh, so starting here, you do need to read this, but it's pretty simple. It's self-explanatory. Um, put like one if you, if you want it or zero if you don't, whatever it may be. You can kind of go throughout the list. Um, but just to kind of show you what I was talking about, about parts and money is you could enter it yourself like what how much money right here it says starting cash um you will need to start a new game if you want this to register if like if you already have a game running you're gonna have to like start a completely new one right underneath it it says unlock all things now you know like use this like but don't like overdo it you know you you don't want to like ruin the game but like i just unlocked like all level one parts you know just like run it like that um but i wanted the body kits you know what i mean like you know you couldn't have it anyways that's how you could do that you could change like neon underglow uh damage fix it, it gets pretty in depth i'll let you guys like kind of mess with it whatever you guys want to do oh by the way when you do make a difference or a change you're gonna want to just click save make sure it saves all right next is going to be the widescreen fix this is pretty important this is what i got from that one video i was telling you about like the you can get full screen it's pretty easy these are the numbers right here already set up but like i said if you if you have my port then you should be fine but like if you're on a fresh new copy uh res x 1920 res y 1080 what else did i change um fps limit is 60 the game could play at 120. I actually ran it at 120 on the Legion Go, at least. It, it runs fine. I just, I noticed the temps were a bit higher than, uh, than expected. They were, like, in the 70s, like, 76. But if you just drop it down to, uh, 60, like, temps are gonna be, like, 46, 52. I am using 6 gig of, uh, 6 VRAM, just in case. You guys are wondering, what else did we change? Also left stick dead zone the game is kind of dated uh dated so i would put it at 15 like that's exactly what that guy had did super smart uh what else was there there's one more thing it has to do with the controller what is it though here it is Improve game support. Uh, it's gonna read like keys, but you want to turn it on to one or two One is for Xbox two is for PlayStation. I went with one. It's just easier to read for me uh, If you do make any changes here, don't forget to save it close that out now What's different with like my port is I've uh, installed a bunch of different car mods now I'm going to show you what they look like in game. You're gonna see it looks a little funky It doesn't look right, but when you're actually in game the uh the cars look just fine but i'll show you an example of what i mean let me get oh yeah these are what i'm running at it should be at 12 1280 by 800 it can save you a bit more battery performance efficient all right cool 
just click through all this now the first time you boot up it's probably going to read you as a mouse and keyboard um you can just do that if so if you don't have a, a keyboard i highly recommend it but it just simplifies things but like let's say it's your first time playing the game first thing you want to do is go to controls right there up top it says keyboard configuration you need to change that to joypad uh configuration you need to click each one and you're gonna map it all out i've already mapped mine you you map it however you like it um like yeah no i'm not gonna change my settings but you get it you know just click it and then you know go throughout the whole list you'll go down and then when you click b it's gonna ask you like if you made any changes to save it make sure to save it uh, and that's really it let me show you the cars that i was able to like import So I'm going to show you just some. And like I said, right here, this is where the cars kind of like look goofy, like the back tires. Well, not this one. Well, there it is, the front tire. It looks a little off. It doesn't look right. The Civic, eh, same thing. Here, just like remember what it looks like because like in game, I swear to you, it just looks so much better like that. That's the one I was talking about. In game, doesn't look like that. Thought I added more cars. Oh yeah, like uh, 2018 Dodge Demon, S2000. Yeah, I couldn't get that to read it. I'm sorry, like don't kill me for it, but you get it. If you know your cars, you know your shit. Uh, what else did we change? Oh, this. By the way, if you use this car, it's going to have that spoiler in the beginning. Once you go to the shop, you're going to just change your spoiler. And you're going to see it's fine. I actually have that as my starter card just so you could see um what else what else is that all of them this also has the japanese version starter car as well as the european version i'm not sure if this is the european one this is definitely from the japanese version uh that's uh a port that's the type r 2015 2018 i think 2018 I don't know what I did on this one. I'm so sorry if you were a fan of the Nissan 240SX. Um, but you could just uh, archive that uh, that car. Uh, you just need to Google it. I have it. I didn't do it because I don't know what I have in that slot. I'm not sure if it's something actually missing or if something else is in that slot. And then the S2, th uh, S2 the Silva, Sylvia. Now, you see how like right here it looks like that? Bro, trust, trust, trust. Uh, let's go into career resume Here is the Integra I was telling you about with the spoiler um, That was all like messed up But now just to show you in-game performance and how it actually looks Everything in place. Cool. Oh, yeah, the whole full screen HD uh, You could try upscaling it yourself like even more so um, I didn't try that quite yet, but yeah Oh, yeah, by the way the tires the tires see tires look fine spoiler looks fine It's just uh, in game actually. Let me show you one more spot also like the car lot it shows them looking fine except for the the sports car Let me grab it No hood. Oh, yeah, I should show you a couple. Well, you know what? You could see the the actual things itself. This is the only one that looks a little goofy. I swear. I think. I hope so. Uh, it's going to look really bad. But everything should now look flush from here on out. Not these. Oh, yeah, it does still have that. Never mind. Can I take this car right now just to show? Okay, you see how it looks all messed up? Uh, what can I get rid of? Probably the Escalade. So 
shit. You see? Well, actually, they do look a little dip. I think this is the worst-looking car, but the Charger looks fine. But that's the only one I would kind of be, like, iffy. It doesn't look bad as, like, how it did um, in the garage. Here, let me grab... Just kind of like show you each car and this one looks like perfect like it was part of the game but that's really it um i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe hit me in the comments if you need any help preferably like tiktok messenger is probably just easier to get a hold of me uh if you guys need any help uh, let me know if I missed anything. I'm sorry I did it in such a rush. I was just excited to like talk about the game. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one.